What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 19 of my ultimate team journey around the world. And we get our free pre-order pack here and we pull AG on so we should be able to make a, hopefully around a thousand coins or so off of this pack. Which would be a nice little pack there as those packs have typically been extremely disappointing. You see there we go and pick up a squad fitness for 2500 coins and it absolutely kills me to do. But it is just one of those things that are necessary in order to play this game. Especially in a series like this where it is tough to switch guys in and out and your bench is typically not guys who you could just slot in and out and keep them on 9 chem like if you had an all league of BBVA side or BPL or that sort of thing. And with hybrids it's kind of tough to have guys in the same position from the same league with the same links in order to be able to switch them in and out. But we are going to get back into the silver cup here and I'll second run with this Antigua and Barbuda side after we had lost in pretty disappointing fashion in our last game and this was going to be much of the same unfortunately for us but we're going to get going here in with up done in the fourth minute and he's just going to go on a beautiful little run here he's going to get inside onto his right foot and get taken down in the box for a PK that he is going to put away and tuck it just underneath the crossbar as that is what we do best on penalties and really the most effective spot I've learned since people typically if they do stand down the middle they don't know that you need to push up on the right analog stick in order to make that save but we get up to a one nothing lead here and it is going to come right back to us here and this is just the beginning of FIFA in this game and Boley, what are you doing, man? He just flat out whiffs on the punch. An absolute come on, man moment. And that knots us at 1-1. And we continue to have problems with a little bit of a hangover after we get up and score a goal here, typically giving one right back. And that is something that is absolutely so frustrating to me. <laughs> However, I cannot seem to work past it. But another good little sequence here, and it's a bead with a good little move onto his left foot inside. And he puts that one away, giving us the 2-1 lead here. And this game would continue to not go my way. You see here, a free kick just outside the box. And Mboli is going to let us down again. What are you doing? Free kick right at his chest. He parries it away and then gets beat on a contested shot to the far post there. And the story of this match was extremely poor goalkeeping on Mboli's part. And this was extremely frustrating to have to deal with on a constant basis right here. But we go into the half up 3-2. to two, And we would get off to a quick start in the second half here with Roshi playing that one. A good quick ball in. And my coach always told me, put the ball into the box. You never know what could happen. And that's an example of it there. And that put us up 4-2. But then the game started to turn. And EA is con absolutely persistent on the fact that there is no momentum or scripting in this game however I beg to differ see that that's the first clear sent right back down our throats and you see the little sequence that's gonna go on here and at this point I just knew I was going to concede this is a full bar X button and typically that ball gets kicked the length of the field however there it barely makes it to midfield and EA has added attack intelligence they call it but in my eyes, it's really just attack on intelligence as your players make pointless runs forward and the runs that they need to make, they continue to not make. However, they should add defensive intelligence where your players actually go to the ball when it's sitting out there in midfield instead of standing and looking at 50-50 balls, which is the absolute most frustrating thing in this game. But Mboli gets beat there again by Husi Clip, who's left wide open on that volley there as McCoy loses him. And that puts us in a 4-4 good draw. And I had had enough with Emboli at this point. And look at this sequence here by Ujani. I just absolute chaos in the box. And FIFA just seems to get more and more unrealistic. And this is the goal we're going to lose on. A contested through ball there by El Yanasi. On to Igor Aspas's foot. Yeah, he doesn't make a play on the ball. He gets two headed attempts. And I was just so frustrated after that game I had told myself that that was going to be the last cup run with this Antigua and Barbuda squad but I was not going to have any of it as I could not believe that I had lost that game that way and the flaws in this game is really concerning and something I hope that EA realizes is a major concern instead of them consistently denying that there's no nothing wrong with this game 
but you could see there in that game, the flaws are absurd. Goalkeeping is the most hit or miss thing in this game where one day your goalie can look unbeatable and then at other points you could look like and bully did on that free kick there and then whiffing on the punch and it's just stuff that should not happen in professional football and does not happen in professional football on a game-to-game -game basis i mean every now and then every guy has a lack in concentration slip up where a mistake like that happens but in fifa it occurs way too much but we're going to get into a new silver cup here and get off to a quick little one nothing disconnect there where and we're going to pick up a nice little one nothing victory when we will pick up the next episode in the quarterfinals. So if you guys missed an episode, be sure to check out the link in the description for the full Around the World playlist. But if you guys enjoyed, a like, comment, and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next episode.